Sigma. Hello, in this tutorial I want to teach you how to make buckran at home. Very easy and not hard to do, and all the ingredients are completely natural too. But before we do anything, I would like to give credits to where it credits do. It's not a hard thing to do, and you can use uh, different types of materials and different results. So this is so historically, as you can see here on this website, this is where I got most of my ideas. And look, you can use cornstarch, which is very easy to find in any stores, and really not hard to prepare at all. The final result really depends on what type of fabric you use. You can use cotton, linen, or even something more stronger than uh canvas as you can see you know just you grab, grab the glue here as i'm showing and just rub it on your fabric and there you go it should be done the final results really depends on the density of the glue and also what you're using and the fabric itself and you can use also for interface and not just buck brand for hats for example but why shouldn't you just buy commercially from um, say a millionaire store for example well sometimes it, they don't really have it because it's such a specialty type of item so i'm showing you a bunch of people trying to make it on their own also notice the what she's holding right now in this video uh i can't actually show you exactly but look it's pretty stiff in the end all right let's go to the far one of this video which is the needed materials i will teach you how to make both cornstarch and xanthan gun glue for that you're gonna need some clothes lines and a clove pins some cornstarch and xanthan gun also please have in mind that xanthan gun is gonna be more flexible but cornstarch will make it a lot stiffer but way less flexible you need to have that in mind for what you need in the end Remember, you can you can make you know something besides buckram. But anyway, you're gonna also need a potter pan, you know, or some water source, you know, any. You can also do that in a microwave if you prefer. You're gonna need some water as well, a couple brushes, different sizes. It really depends on what you're doing, actually, the size of your fabric, right? And also, you're gonna need a wooden spoon or something to mix with and very well your fabrics in this case i have two types of uh, canvas one is cotton and another is a blend between linen and cotton and finally you're gonna need a blender or a food processor or something to just uh shred uh the xanthan gun glue this is not needed for cornstarch and it's kind of optional but it makes the job so much easier so much better and we now have to prepare the actual glue in which we will apply the fabric to I will put in the description of this video the recipe, but here it is in the screen if you want to scroll through it. If you prefer to use something cheaper, you can always buy just a cornstarch recipe and use it instead because xanthan gun can be expensive. Okay, we're gonna start first with the xanthan gun glue, right? And be sure to drop your hot or warm water inside the blender compartment, okay? Uh, and just one, just, uh, one little tip, a xanthan gun is a lot harder to deal with than cornstarch right but it makes the fabric a lot more flexible and you can apply several uh, times more than once if you want and make sure it's sealed uh, properly to avoid accidents whatever can chamber you have on your uh, blender or food processor remember you don't want to mask your kitchen or any lost lumps on your part oh by the way uh, xanthan has this weird property that when the more you blend you know the stickier it gets for some reason so we need a consistency of a glue or a paste and not runny okay it's really important because uh the we remember we were literally putting glue on fabric so it stiffens that's the whole point of a buck run or a homemade interface or anything so it's really important you know just look at the video try to get this as close as you can and for the second part we're gonna basically do the cornstarch it's a lot cheaper but there's a catch it's kind of hard to work with because you're basically boiling in water and if any of you ever cooked with cornstarch it gets sticky very easily but don't be afraid to mess because since cornstarch is so cheap in the market, uh, if you even if you mess up, you can just easily clean since it's so soluble and keep trying to get the right proportion. So don't forget to drop your four tablespoons of cornstarch in the pot. Personally, I prefer to mix while it's um, heating up in the stove, but what you can do instead is you can uh, mix before that and do it that way if you prefer, but I prefer to mix while it heats up. It's important to know when to stop mixing and get it off to the fire, but keep mixing and if you did everything correctly, you should have a consistency similar to plastic glue as it's shown here. 
All right, for the next part, you're gonna need basically some plastic surface so it's easy to clean after. I just have a plastic tarp and I'm gonna brush it out with that. I'm gonna start with the xanthan gun glue and it's a lot smoother and easier to work with. As you can see, it's kind of runny, but that's okay. You just really want the paste to seep deep into the fabric as you can see. All right, here's a very good tip. Uh, I'm gonna start now with the cornstarch glue and it's, it's, it's really hard. So in order to do that, just it, literally just pour some water and mix it and that should make it better. I think this happens because the cornstarch gets dehydrated rather quickly, but if, as you can see, it just becomes extremely like paste and just keep brushing it and make sure the fabric's completely wet with the paste and that should do the trick, you know, uh, that will make the fabric a lot harder. After you're done working, don't forget to wash your tarp or whatever other surface you use to just, you know, brush your fabric with the paste. All right, now we come to the part hanging and drying. Uh, I'm using an uh, indoor clothesline, but it can do outside too. Just make sure it doesn't rain on that. This is the xanthan gun and this is the cornstarch fabric. I had some scrap cotton fabrics and this is the result. This is xanthan gun and look how flexible it is. And this is the cornstarch and it's a lot stiffer, almost like cardboard. So it's important to take note in the differences. And here we are at the part for the buck run results. So I use several stripes of different types of fabric with the varying you know, thickness and I hope you find one of them useful for your needs. Okay, I will be quiet now and I will let the results speak for themselves. Oh, and by the way, I also um, use some commercially available buck rent. This one, for example, is light buck rent, which I bought at Joann's. Uh, this particular type of buck rent is not hard enough or stiff to make give body to hats, but I suppose you could use it as a sort of interfacing for clothes. Now this one is medium buck ran, which I bought in bulk. It's pretty good, but it's not really uh, hard or stiff enough to give body to hats. But I guess that maybe if you just uh, layer them with you, maybe you could have something like that. But yeah, uh, it's recommended in millinery to use heavier double stiffen buck ran. Which is this one right here. This is commercially double stiffen or heavy buck rent. This is why it's usually used to make, give body to hats. Of course, it's not just the buck rent alone. You're also going to need to use some wiring, usually metal wiring or millinery wiring. But yeah, this is good. And here we have my favorite replacement. It's the Yuta fabric. And as you can see, due to the low thread count, there's some big gaps between each threads, right? Uh, which makes the glue a lot easier to, you know, seep through the fabric. Uh, we have this one in cornstarch, the other one was xanthan gun, right? And it's quite stiff. I think it's great for a uh, heavy buck run. Honestly speaking, I don't really know which is which, but anyway, I, I could manage to stitch, as you can see, in the white thread, so you can even use it for stitching or sewing projects. Yeah, I think this one's the cornstarch, actually, pardon me, but I don't remember. As you can see, it's really, really hard, uh, even though it's kind of thin, so this would be ideal for making hats if you reinforce with millinery wire or wiring, so it's pretty good. And finally, here we have the, both uh, the cotton canvas and the linen and cotton blend. Uh, this one is the xanthan gun. It's quite pretty flexible. I think it makes a fantastic homemade interface, in my opinion. A little bit too soft for heavy buckram for hats, though. 
and this is the toughest one I made so far. It's almost like leather in my opinion. It's really, really hard. This is cornstarch glue, and this is, in my opinion, very good, very, very stuff. And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching, and I hope this has been helpful to you. And I hope that a shortage of buckram or interfacing is not no longer a problem for you. This is quite simple to make. You know, has some really affordable materials, and even the xanthan gunpowder, which can be expensive, you can make quite a bunch uh, with just a little bit of powder. I uh, hope you like this tutorial. Like this video and follow me on Twitter for even more updates. Thank you for watching, I really do appreciate your view, do come again, bye!